Ways to make your spouse love you forever. Number one, be teachable and ready to learn. Knowing that you come from different backgrounds and have different personalities, it takes submission and a teachable heart to be able to live in peace and adjust to marital life. You must come into the marriage with an open heart, ready to learn and to adjust to the changing needs of the marriage. Marriage would demand so much of you as an individual, and the things you previously envisioned might not be what you eventually come across as time goes on. At each stage of marriage, there is need to learn and put whatever you learn into practice. First, you must learn the unique likes and dislikes of your spouse. You should know what makes them happy and ensure you do those things and know what ticks them off and avoid those things. You must learn the peculiarities of your marriage and how to manage the home. You must know when to speak and when to keep quiet. You must equally learn how to accommodate others, especially your spouse's families and relations. There are just so many things to learn in marriage, and having an open and teachable heart makes it easy for you to flow with your spouse. No matter the books you have read or the counsel you have gotten before marriage, the real work does not start until you are in it. The ability to learn and adjust as you go is a skill that every individual will appreciate in their spouse. There is just this assurance that you will be able to blend into any circumstances and situations and your spouse will love you for it. The fact is that people come into marriage with different mindsets and sometimes one is not ready to bow or give way for the other. This often results in conflict and resentment. On the other hand, if you stay teachable, your spouse cannot help loving you, especially as a woman. This can also be related to submission. The Bible generally states that we submit to one another and specifically tells the wife to submit to their husband. It fosters love, unity, and brings peace in the relationship. Once there is peace, you can be sure your spouse will love you forever. Number two, love and respect. Love is important to keep the relationship between yourself and your spouse strong. Just as the Bible says, do to others what you want them to do to you. If you want your spouse to love you, you must first show that love to them. And love takes different forms and dimensions. It means showing that you care for them and are affectionate about them. You are concerned about their welfare even more than before. You ask them about how their day went and give a listening ear when they want one. It also means trying to understand them even when no one else does and being there for them, especially when they need you the most. Love also involves making sacrifices and going the extra mile even when it is not convenient. Standing by your spouse during difficult moments and supporting them speaks volumes to them about your love than words could ever do. The person will cherish you for life and stand by you when you need them to. If you make them a priority, they will also make you a priority. That is the way it works. Do not wait for them to show love first. Take the first step and you will see them reciprocate. Even if they have been cold and standoffish before, they will begin to warm up to you as you show them love and affection. Nobody is impervious to love. Love will melt the coldest heart and bring down high walls. Respect is also important. You must show respect to your spouse if you want them to love you forever. It has been said that one of the greatest needs of a man is the need to be respected. Respect your spouse at home and every other place. Respect them as an individual. Respect their privacy and give them their space. Respect their opinion and ideas. Respect the effort they make from day to day and see to it that you cause other people to respect them. When you satisfy this need for respect in your spouse, 
they will love you. Number three, speak your spouse's love language. According to the book, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman, individuals have different ways of expressing and receiving love. What means love to one person might not mean love to another. So identify and knowing how your spouse receives or feels love is very important in a relationship. According to the book, the five different love languages are words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. One way or the other, you will do all these in your marriage, but identifying your spouse's major love language and speaking it can go a long way to open their heart and make them love you for life. It can be the icebreaker and solve a lot of conflict that might arise in the marriage. For instance, you might have been giving gifts to your spouse regularly, and as far as you are concerned, have done the best you can for them, but they do not seem satisfied. This might be because what they truly desire is not gifts. That does not speak love to them. Perhaps they want to have quality time with you, they want you to be there to listen to them, especially when they have things on their mind. In this case, there is a miscommunication. You are speaking the love language and receiving gifts when all they understand is quality time. When you can reconcile this difference, it becomes easier to enjoy a fruitful relationship. Since their love tanks are filled, they will be able to reciprocate the love they have received. Number four, keep improving on yourself. Even after getting married, there is a need to keep improving on yourself. Keep getting better at whatever you do. Your spiritual life should not go down as a result. Neither should your marriage be an excuse for not achieving your goals and becoming what you want to be in life. Everybody wants a spouse they can be proud of someone they can walk hand in hand and introduce proudly to anybody, anywhere. Do not become all laid back and relax after marriage. Just in the same way, no woman wants to marry an idle husband or one who cannot improve on his character and other things. No man wants to get married to a liability as well. Whether as a man or woman, you must learn to be industrious. The Bible gives us an example of such a woman in Proverbs 31. We call her the virtuous woman, and this is because she was fruitful in all the major areas of her life, whether in the home front, at the field, or with her career. As a lady, no man would want to let go of you when you keep improving yourself. The more value you place on yourself, the more value people place on you your spouse included. Ensure you live a balanced life. Do not focus on your career at the expense of your family. Neither should you focus on your family so much that you do not pay attention to your personal life, your dreams, goals, and ambitions. As a woman or a man, when you find yourself gaining weight or becoming obese, start working on it. Go to the gym regularly or take out time to jog and exercise. You are working on your physical health. That way, you make yourself attractive to your spouse. Just as being in shape can attract your spouse more to you, achieving a certain goal or reaching some milestone in your career is also another way of making them love you the more, especially when you are in a relationship that is healthy and not competitive. Improve on yourself daily. Make your spouse proud of you and you would have secured their love forever. Number five, be romantic. Before marriage, each partner sees the need to impress the other. You go on dates, put on your best clothes, wear a nice cologne and behave in a gentlemanly or ladylike manner. However, once marriages sets in, people forget the need to impress each other again. They just settle into a boring routine and the love that was once there seems to gradually fade away. Instead of the happily ever after they have envisioned, marriage to some become an unavoidable circumstance that they must endure. It is like living with a roommate or housemate that you cannot avoid. 
but it does not have to be this way. You can enjoy your marriage and keep the love alive. If you want your spouse to love you forever, keep the spark alive. As a man, do not stop wooing your wife even after marriage. The same zeal and passion you use in chasing her during your courtship days should be present in the marriage. Calling her during work hours, drop love messages that will make her blush and feel special, surprise her with a gift or drop in at her place of work unexpectedly. Take her out on dates and make her feel like a queen. That way, you will have her love. As a lady, do not ignore yourself and the way you look after getting married. Dress sharp and look beautiful for your husband. Remember the way you were so careful during your dating days and stay chaseable. Even when your husband has forgotten about romance and the work of the day has drained him, it is your duty to make him remember. No man can easily ignore a beautiful woman, especially when she is his wife. Romance spices up the relationship. It is something you must learn if you want their continuous love and affection.